Hello, in this video we are going to be looking at the UI layout feature for the UI plugin for Cocos to the XC++ and the UI layout allows you to group nodes together and the benefit of doing that is if you have a bunch of nodes in this group in the UI layout whatever you do to the layout so if it's resizing it, moving it, applying an action to it it will modify everything inside it so a great example of where you might want to use this if you create a hood you have a bunch of items in that hood you could affect the hood so it disappears off the screen when the user dies and then the actual game over pop-up comes up so that's an example of the UI layout before you get started with this tutorial you want to make sure that you've got a project created obviously and you've also got your project set up to use UI. If you haven't, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description, so check that out. So let's get cracking. So what we're gonna do is create a layout. So UI colon colon layout. I'm gonna name it layout equals UI colon colon layout. Oopsie daisy. Colon colon create. Didn't want any of that, just the regular create method will do. <laughs> Look what I've done here. I've put a minus instead of an equals. There we go. And now the next thing that we need to do, or I'm going to do, is set the layout type. There are a bunch of methods that you can check out for setting parameters for the layout. Best way to do it is just to do this. Set and have a look at the different methods. Because like I said, there's a lot of them. You'll be depending on what you want for your game and how you want to create your layout. I'm just gonna show you a basic layout, so layout type. And for this, we need UI layout type. And then we can have horizontal, relative, absolute, or vertical. So let's just show you the vertical method. What I want you to do as an extra task is experiment with the other ones because they are cool and they really useful depending on what you're doing what you're using your game for so now once you've got this the last thing we're going to do is actually just set the position so set position this takes a vec2 as usual vec2 and for this I'm just going to put something like 300 by 400 and I'm going to do this add child layout and I could run this but really nothing's gonna happen because we haven't added any nodes to our layout so let's just create some simple nodes so UI button UI button I'm not really gonna cover what these are because there are separate videos on the different UI items And I'm just going to create another item. I'm going to create the image view item. Almost done. And then we can actually show you oh, the, 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 the layout itself. The butter fingers today. Hello world.png. And what you want to do, just do layout, add child, and in here put all the nodes that you want to add. So I'm going to put button, layout, add child, and I'm going to put a image view. And then we're ready to run. So let's just run this in our project. Okay, there we go. We've got our layout. And as you can see, it's positioned them one on top of each other, and that's because we did the vertical layout type. Check out the horizontal and check out the absolute and relative layout types as well. And obviously, I can click this button, it doesn't do anything because I haven't programmed anything in. And this is just a simple image view, but if you have some more complex UI items, they will work as they normally would. But like I was saying, I'm just gonna apply a few different properties to this. I'm gonna put layout set rotation and I'm just gonna put 45 degrees now let's just run this I 
as you can see it's rotated but so has all of its children so it all looks all looks good and that will be the same for setting the position again for setting the size if you were to apply some sort of action and manipulate the size skew it for example it would affect all of the children so that's it for the ui layout if you have any questions, feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk for slash question.php. There'll be a link in the description. Please rate and subscribe as it does really help keep the content free. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.